Hello there, youth. It's me again. Today, we are going to talk about words. Now, words are very powerful. I mean, the very first picture or example we have is that God spoke the world into being. And we find that on Genesis chapter 1. Proverbs chapter 15 verse 1 says, A soft answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. I heard it said when I was young that words could either make or break a person. You can encourage someone with your words or do the opposite and hurt them. Then another verse that I want to talk about, Matthew chapter 15, verse 18, it says, but what comes out of the mouth proceeds from the heart, and this defiles a person. So, you know, it's like when you buy a bottle of water. If you squeeze the bottle of water, water will come out. If you squeeze apple juice, apple juice will come out. You can't expect water to come out of apple juice. If that happens, then somewhere in the production went wrong. <laughs> but this verse says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. I have, and I confess, I have said many stuff when I was angry that, you know, I regret later on when I started to calm down. And the thing is, the words that you say, you can't really take it back once you've said it. I mean, you could say sorry for saying it once you've calmed down, but you have said the words. And I can remember as well some unpleasant words that were told to me that we're not even true and we're just really said in anger. But again, the positive side is the encouraging words from really good people or the righteous ones <laughs> that really encourages you and lifts you up. And Come on, when we were in a good mood, when we feel good, oh, the things that we say, the things that we can do, you know, because we have that joy in our hearts and not anger. The Bible is actually called the Word of God because God is a speaking God. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12, it's got a good description about what the Word of God is. It says, For the Word of God is living and active, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing to the division of soul and of spirit, of joints and of marrow, in discerning the thoughts and intentions of of the heart. Psalms 119 verse 11 it says, I have stored up your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. And if the power of God's word is this, if it's living and active, if it's sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing to the division of soul and of spirit, it discerns the thoughts and intentions of our heart. May it be our desire then to fill our hearts with the word of God, that we may guard ourselves. And as what the psalmist says, that we might not sin against the Lord or towards others. And the greater need we have, you know, 
not just the word of God, but actually Jesus Christ himself. Jesus is called the living word of God. John chapter 1 verse 14 says, He is the word became flesh and dwelt among us. I mean, we could memorize scriptures all that we want, but unless we store them in our hearts through Christ, we are powerless on our own. And it could just be really head knowledge rather than taking it to our hearts. And so what I want to challenge you guys this week is to take extra notice of the words that you speak. Words that you speak to yourself, words that you speak to your family, to your parents, to your siblings, words that you speak to your classmates, your teachers, I don't know, the waiter at the restaurant, or the lady, or the man on the tail, the teller on the tail. I want you to take notice of the words that come out of your mouth, or even those thoughts that you have in your head. Ask yourself, do your words bring healing? Do they bring encouragement? Or do they bring people down? Or do they hurt? I pray that we may take extra care on what we fill our hearts with that we may take good care of the things, of the words that come out of our mouth. I pray that um, we do get to see more of you physically, especially as this um, easing of these measures really do proceed. And so guys, um, just really do keep in touch We've got our WhatsApp group. We hope to see more of you very soon. God bless you and have a great week. Bye.